Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to be discussing VA's Form 21-526EZ, the form veterans will use to file a claim. This form is called the Application for Disability Compensation and Related Compensation Benefits, and it's a formal application for VA benefits. Veterans are required to submit this form to start the VA claims process for service-connected compensation. Prior to filing this claim on this form, Veterans should ensure that they are eligible for VA disability compensation. Only veterans who are discharged under other than dishonorable conditions, so for example, an honorable discharge, are eligible to receive VA disability compensation. Veterans must also have a current diagnosis and a disabling medical condition due to their time in service. The VA Form 21-526EZ has 11 sections in total. Here are the most important ones. Section 1, which asks for identification and claim information. In this section, veterans provide the full name, social security number, VA file number, date of birth, current mailing address, and other identifying information. Section four is also very important. This is claim information. Section four is the most in-depth portion of your VA claim. Here you must list the current disabilities for which you are applying to receive disability compensation. And each, in addition to each current disability listed, you are also required to specify the following. Whether the disability is due to an in-service exposure event or injury, how the disability relates to your in-service exposure event or injury, the approximate date the disability began or worsened. If you are unable to record all the information above in the space provided on the form, you can include an addendum, and an addendum is just an extra sheet of paper. You must indicate, though, on the VA 21526EZ that there is additional information attached on the application. Section 5 of the VA Form 21-526EZ is also very important. This is your service information. This is where you provide information regarding your time in service, including your branch of service and your enlistment or discharge date and discharge date. Section 7 is another important section. This is your direct deposit information. It's very important to fill out because it allows VA to transfer your monthly compensation directly into your bank account if you are granted service-connected disability benefits. This means VA will already have your payment information on file if you are granted. And then finally, Section 9 is very important. This is the power of attorney signature. If you have legal representation assisting you with your VA claim, that part needs to be signed by your representative. Your representative can be your veteran service officer or your a VA accredited agent or a VA accredited attorney. Once you're done completing your VA form 21526EZ, um, well, there are multiple ways you could complete that. First, online using VA's eBenefits platform. You can also complete a paper form and mail it to the Department of Veterans Affairs, Evidence Intake Center, P.O. Box 4444 in Janesville, Wisconsin, 53547-4444. You can also submit your application in person. Just bring it to your nearest VA regional office. And you can also rely on your legal representative to complete and file the form. And that is also with a veteran service organization or a VA accredited agent or attorney. Generally, filing a VA claim online is the fastest and most convenient way to apply for disability benefits. So what's the difference between a VA form 21526EZ and a VA form 210966 is a question that we often get. The VA Form 21-0966 is the intent to file form that veterans can use if they are planning to file a claim using a 21-526EZ, the form that we've been talking about this whole time. Um, but if the veteran needs more time to gather evidence, they can file this intent to file claim um, to serve as a placeholder 
for the claim. It essentially notifies VA of your intention to file a claim. And after you submit your intent to file form, you have one year to complete the VA form 21526EZ. Um, it's very important to remember that the date that VA received your intent to file form will be the effective date for your claim if you file the VA claim form, the 21-526EZ, within a year. So I hope that this explains the VA form 21526EZ. If you want to know more information about the VA claims process, be sure to check out and subscribe to our channel and like this video.